So hello and welcome once again to the Hornby Magazine Workshop. You join myself and Mike here on the O-Gauge test track today because we're taking a look at the brand new O-Gauge Class 47 by Hellion. So we've got the brand new Helgen O-Gauge Class 47 on the review desk today, uh, but we need to do a little bit of history first when it comes to Helgen and O-Gauge Class 47s. So its first version of the Class 47 for 7mm scale was released in 2006. It was actually its second ever ready to run O-Gauge diesel locomotive. That obviously sold through completely. Um, it was of a different generation of models as well. And Helgen decided to take a fresh look at the Class 47 for O-Gauge. It's developed two new body shells for it. Uh, so you've got what we call in the version two, which is like the Loco we've got here, which is the Loco is in original condition, the Class 47 O's with the head code panels in them. And it's also done what's called version three, which is where the bodies were modified to have uh, things like plated head code panels and a couple of other small changes to the body shell as well. So you've now got a much wider choice of Class 47s. So your version 1 loco is the original ones from 2006. You could have them in a choice of two-tone green, two-tone green with foil ends, or BR blue. Uh, this time around, you've got much wider sphere of liveries to choose from. So on the version 2 loco, like I've got behind us here, you can have that in, again, the same two-tone green, two-tone green with full yellow ends and BR blue, and that's all with the four-character head code boxes on them. And then the version three model, that's available in BR Blue again, but with a plated head code panel. It's also available in Large Logo Blue, Network Southeast, Intercity Executive Livery, I think there's a Rail Express system as well as well, or it might be the parcel sector, red and gray. Uh, and there's uh, also a triple gray one as well, and a rail freight one as well, rail freight and stripe. So lots of new choices when it comes <coughs> to class 47s. It really has become a collector's item. Definitely right, if, if you're in the market for collecting <laughs> O-Gage, and yes, it definitely is. It's, uh, I mean, I think the interesting thing with this is that O-Gage has moved on a lot as well. Yeah, again, just referencing back to that original batch of 47s. At the time then, O-Gage was very centric on that BR green, BR blue period. Whereas now actually models are demanding a much more recent sphere of liveries as well. They want that colour and excitement that the more recent railway had. Um, similar things to what we saw happening you know, in 00 to some extent recently as well. Um, we've seen some exciting things like GBRF liveries coming on some locos as well. And right now there's a new batch of Class 60s coming out from Helgen as well, which again, they've got a really colourful collection of liveries on them. Yeah. Exciting things for people. So, on top of liveries, what are some of the features we can expect on the new Class 47? Okay, so as you'd expect from a Helgen O-Gauge diesel, it is twin-motored. Uh, but it's twin-motored, rather than the motor being mounted vertically on the bogies, they're mounted horizontally in the chassis frame. Then got carbon shafts driving out to each of the bogey towers, which are gearboxes down into the bogies. You've got a main PCB inside the loco, which is then takes control of all the lighting functions. Um, if you're going to upgrade to DCC, you can basically remove that PCB completely and put either a lock sound um, XL decoder or something like a Zimo MX699KS decoder in there instead. And that will then take care of all the lighting controls and things. You will have to have a little bit of DCC knowledge to be able to do that because it does mean hard wiring it in. There are screw terminals on both types of decoders I've mentioned, which make it a little bit easier. Uh, but you're still going to take your time and care over it. It's not like a 21 pin decoder or a 8 pin decoder where you take out the socket and plug it in. You've got to put a bit of thought into it. The advantage of that though is you can then give yourself complete independent control of all lighting functions inside the loco, as well as the roof fan as well if you want to. Which look very impressive when they're spinning around. They certainly do, and I really <laughs> like being able to actually control those manually myself as well. I have that choice go, I want the roof fans on, I want the roof fans off. So being a rather large O-gauge locomotive, I imagine there's space for a speaker. Yeah, speaker space has been built into this model as well. There are uh, mounting points for a earth mover type speaker, so a 69mm by 28, I think they are 29mm, I can't get the exact measurement off the top of my head. Uh, but one of those has been designed so it can be mounted to the roof and the sides, so there's actually spigots there to, to support that. Uh, and then you've also got, like I say, there's directional lighting for it. You've got a uh, drive to the outer axles of both bogies, so you've got the typical Helgen floating centre axle on each of the Coco bogies. Uh, you've got directional lighting, you've got the power of roof fans, you've got cab lights as well, so it's a really nice comprehensive package. Very nice loco for your money, really. It definitely is, yeah. I'm, I'm really impressed with how it runs. We've enjoyed having it running on the layout here. It's batting around quite happily on a seven or eight coach train. Uh, you can see it running today on a six coach set, but we've got it on longer trains as well. Um, really good running locomotive, enjoyed that. And without giving too much away from the full review, what are your thoughts on the locomotive in general? Um, I think it's a really good looking model. I mean, there's, there's a little question mark around the shaping of the front end of the cab. On the, the little, there's like a little shelf below the cab windows. It's a notoriously difficult thing, it seems, to get right with the Class 47. Uh, and I'm not sure that's quite perfect. Um, I doubt it will put most people off this model. I think otherwise it's a really good uh, quality product. Um, 
like I say, otherwise it looks like 47. I think the decoration is really good as well. Uh, so you know, our sample it's here in the two-tone green livery. Uh, like I said a minute ago, the performance is brilliant as well. You know, it's, it's one of the things I've always liked about these big Helgen diesels. They've got plenty of weight and plenty of power in them as well. But it's a three and a half kilo loco. <laughs> you feel that. You certainly do, yeah. It's the kind of thing you go down to the gym to lift, don't you? So. <laughs> so now we come to the most important questions of the video, price and availability. Okay, so the price for the new Helgen O-Gage 47 is £699 for each of the locomotives. And in terms of availability, they're actually going into the shops literally as we're recording this video. Um, so they've just been shipped in from Denmark to the UK and then they've been distributed to Helgen's retailer network. So you'll be able to buy one this November, straight from your retailer, take it home and enjoy it. Wonderful. Well, our content doesn't end here. So Mike, where can people read the full review? So our full review of this new locomotive for O-Gage is available to read in issue 174. That's our December 2021 issue of Hornby Magazine. Or if you're one of our digital subscribers, you can read it online at keymodelworld.com as well. Wonderful. Right, that brings us to the end of the video. So thank you very much for watching as ever. Take care and we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. <laughs>